Hi everyone. Tonight a death penalty decision in Tennessee is raising red flags and causing controversy. Just today the state set the date for another execution, the latest in an unprecedented push to carry out death sentences. News Channel 5's Chris Cannon takes a look at why these numbers seem to be spiking. Jessica, Tennessee has only executed six people in the last 54 years and now the state is ready to execute nearly double that number in just two years. As the sun sets on a Tuesday evening, Lee Hall now knows when the state of Tennessee will put him to death. Hall is the 11th death row inmate in the state to recently get that news after years of delayed executions in Tennessee. There is a growing concern about this issue. Stacy Rector is a death penalty opponent. Tennessee is moving forward with so many, an unprecedented number of executions. The state Supreme Court sets execution dates and the Tennessee Department of Correction carries out the sentences. The department wouldn't comment on camera because of pending litigation over executions but released a statement saying, quote, the Tennessee Department of Correction stands ready to carry out the will of the court. I think because in Tennessee we haven't done it regularly, it's, a, it's an issue people don't think about very much. But Rector feels headlines from across the country have more and more people talking about the death penalty, and she says that's happening in Tennessee. Particularly since we're seeing across the country real problems with the method of executions with executions that have gone terribly wrong. Tennessee has not executed a death row inmate since 2009 after questions about the drug protocol the state was using. The TDOC now has a new drug to use. Rector speculates that's the reason for these new dates. In a sense to sort of say no, no, we're going to we're going to sh prove that we can do it. And unfortunately, I think that could um, actually be the worst thing we could possibly do. But even with the changes, lawsuits against the state could continue to delay executions in Tennessee. And Tennessee has a law that keeps secret the names of suppliers who provide those lethal injection drugs. That is one current court battle. Now, also part of that law, the state does not have to reveal the name of the person who was carrying out these executions. That is also another uh, lawsuit, and the case was just heard yesterday on appeal on that. So that is also holding up things for the state. Still, the state stands by its protocol and is ready for October 7th, the date of its first execution in five years. Jessica. Tennessee is not the only state dealing with death penalty controversy right now. A federal judge just extended a months-long moratorium on executions in Ohio as debate over the state's new two-drug combination continues.